What is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with another daily challenge video guide for you all. In today's video, we're going to be completing the last node of the training day challenge being node 14. Um, you bet it's going to be uh, walking through with our high-end characters here. Now, you guys may not have the characters built up as high as I do. Unfortunately, um, the, a lot of these characters are the ones I'm using in Dark Dimension 3, so you'll see them built up quite a bit. But hopefully, uh, you guys can use a, a lower team level overall. Um, my, my goal is to at least provide some insight and the overall strategy in terms of attack order. With that said, I'm bringing on board here Ebony Ma because of the fact that he's going to be providing amazing support for our roster. In addition to that, you're going to see that this node is more time sensitive in the sense that we have to take down the operators. So what's going to help is Ebony Ma's ultimate here where we can actually be able to actually fill up our own speed bar uh, for our fellow Black Order members and also taking away the enemy speed. So it's going to help us buy us more time. Next, synergizing with Ebony Ma, it is going to be Thanos providing energy. Um, he's going to be really utilized to have that offense down to kind of soak up damage for us. Um, and as you can see here, uh, his energy supplementation for the cosmic characters um, being required in these nodes are going to be essentially useful. Next, we got Hela here. Hela is going to be brought on board to disrupt, uh, really take away those taunts when we need it. In addition to that, her ultimate is really nice when we want to spread negative conditions, really giving us that opportunity to really create that advantage on our team. Next, it is going to be Proxima Midnight here. Uh, we're bringing her on board due to the fact that she has a really useful stun. She has offense down. So really, she's going to be kind of controlling the waves. But it's really the, the, the stun that I'm hoping to bring on because of the fact that she's going to be able to slow them, take away their speed, and buy some more time. Especially when this, uh, this last node is going to be time sensitive due to the fact that we're taking down operators. And then last but not least, uh, we don't actually have someone on the team. Uh, being able to cleanse conditions. So you're gonna see here, Invisible Woman's gonna have that role, being able to cleanse right away with her special. In addition, having her offense down and barrier really does protect our team. That is gonna be about the five characters I will be utilizing. So with that said, let's dive right into the gameplay. Now, total team power is 442K here, but keep in mind, uh, the strategy is more important than the team power, so you guys can definitely do with a lower team. Unfortunately, the majority of my characters I, I was utilizing was already being included as part of my DD3 team, so I uh, didn't get to do it as low as I wanted to, but hopefully this video can at least show you guys the attack order in terms of how I attempted this with this team. Um, even with this team at this size, it's really important that the overall strategy is really uh, key because of the fact that you know it is operator-based. So you'll see it from the beginning. I do apply the offense down there on one of the operators to the far right, and it's because we want to start our damage as soon as possible but um i was also being mindful of the fact that there's an operator on the left there so we are going to target that one for a stun on the meanwhile we are going to focus our original damage uh, all the way to the right here and you can see here this is why it's so brutal because at the beginning they have a magneto that actually blinds so that's why i brought invisible woman on board here being able to cleanse those conditions from the beginning uh really gives us a key advantage here in trying to save those turns because um again uh, it doesn't matter how powerful your team is if we are not able to get four turns um with the operators we do lose so you can see my proxima midnight i did land my stun actually on the far left one the buying us some time this is where I love bringing in Ebony Maw here due to the fact that he does actually take away their speed, buying us a little bit more time here to finish off this first operator to the right here. And then really just, um, I think he's actually going to get the turn, but that's quite all right because so as long as the left one is stunned, that's really the really most important piece to this, uh, to this initial wave. So there you go. That is one down now. And um, again, there's not really specific enemies we should be targeting because it should only be the operators first and then we can worry about actually taking down the rest of the waves here so uh especially with them and being able to um instantly win if we don't uh if we don't take them down that's why it's so important to have a really uh, key team in terms of having stun um good speed up good balance of um negative conditions spreading and as well as having supportive defense up rolls too so with that being said here you can see now um uh unfortunately we do have to worry about taking down this taunt first you know uh maybe i should have actually used a character that can actually strip away pauses better but uh looking in retrospect here uh, it still worked out for me just a heads up if you guys wanted to use someone that had you know obviously a nice way to be able to take away that or maybe a different character we're finishing off blob you see here that another operator actually does spawn and i think this is where it's going to get most players um we still have to finish off that second one from the first wave, but number three is already here now for us to deal with. So uh, that's definitely going to be a potential key issue for people. Um, that's why it's nice having Thanos here. 
uh, when we are able to take these enemies down, um, Thanos' energy supplementation will go to Proxima Midnight, and you bet that's going to give us the ability to have a stun sooner rather than later. So going ahead here, I'm just going ahead using my, my bleed, finishing him off. You can see now I do have Proxima Midnight stun, and yes, I do go ahead and actually stun the third operator now. And the second operator down is finished. Uh, so really at this point, I'm feeling quite comfortable. 11 enemies left. We have the third operator stunned. And now we can actually start kind of looking around and t finishing off, cleaning up these these uh, these character nodes here in terms of the waves that we have. Um, especially with that one being stunned. You know, Magneto is a key issue for sure, but he's weakened, of course. So definitely this would be a great time if you guys have that one stun to start kind of chipping away at these other guys because we know how our strength is now. With that being said, you can see that finishing off Magneto unfortunately did actually spawn Juggernaut. And I think that's another key uh, potential red flag as well because if you didn't take out Magneto in the beginning, that synergy with Juggernaut and Magneto definitely is a... Uh, a concern especially if you're not aware of it so um hopefully you guys are watching the video um, ahead of time so that way when you're preparing for this uh for this node um you can actually see it coming and that way you can prepare in advance finishing off magneto uh before uh, before juggernaut actually spawns and joining his uh his fellow allies uh with that being said um you know this is the painful part where we just have to kind of buy through it uh, with Juggernaut's taunt and the abilities he has, you know, there's nearly not much we can do. And you can also see that there's also a Drax as well. So those are the key reasons I brought on Hela with her disruption if we need it. Um, but, you know, we, we have to get through the taunt first before we can resume attacking that third operator. So that's why it's extremely, extremely crucial to actually be able to stun. Um, fortunately, our Proxima Midnight does take away positive buffs too. She, needs to, she just needs to get her turn, right? So uh, finally, we are out of the relinquishment of the taunts. So you can see here, I do go ahead and spread some negative conditions from Toad. Just trying to uh, inflict some more damage and um, really trying to clean up this board here because of how many uh, enemies are here, right? But once again, Ebony Ma with his ultimate, it's beautiful. It heals us up. Not, not that we need the healing because as you can see here, the power level isn't going to be as much important here as uh, really timing and managing the wave. So once again, I, it's just brutal. I, I actually go ahead and stun him once again. So that buys us additional time here now to really actually start cleaning up this wave and start clearing out these uh, these enemies here for us. So in terms of particular order, um, I, I would recommend just taking down anybody that's weak. So you can see, because we kind of allocated damage um, across the board, they're all generally pretty weak. So really, it's just going to be cleaning up here. Um, and they're naturally going to go down the negative conditions in the bleeds. But uh, if you want to just start picking at them, a great time. But you can see the priority for me was definitely focusing in on the operator. And then we can always worry about uh, finishing off these weaker guys later, um, as I'm doing right now. So... Third operator is officially down now, so now we'll start officially cleaning up the board here. And keeping in mind here, there's only six out of enemy, six out of 14 enemies left. With four on the board, that does mean there's only um, two more remaining, and one of them likely being an operator, just due to the fact that we have an instant one yet. Um, generally, with operator rounds like this, uh, you would instantly win if you were to finish off the last operator. So you do see, unfortunately, the last two is two more operators. Scopely just wanted to make this um, this last note extremely. Uh, difficult for this uh, tier for the training day as uh, as much needed too because training materials are very very sought after but um you can see Proxima midnight stunning another one so uh, i stunned the fifth operator and now i'm working on the sixth one um just do the fact same strategy right we buy time with the one that we stun and we we target damage and focus in on the one that isn't stunned just to really chip him down and and really slowly uh finish him off and Nice thing about these uh, these these um, nodes is that fact that you know obviously uh, once you finish them off, you don't need to finish off the rest of the enemies. So I, I'm already feeling quite confident because we have only two left here, and it's only been one turn for them. So that's really where I got my confidence from. Um, but the key here, you guys, um, to, to to reflect is definitely having a key stunner. Um, Proxima Midnight worked wonders for me. You can see how many times she applied her stun. Uh, and thanks, uh, obviously, to Ebony Ma and Thanos Synergy. That's really where I got a lot of value. Um, you may or may not need Ebony Ma, in my opinion, but definitely Proxima Midnight and Thanos are the key to this. Having a disruptor like Hela is key in spreading negative conditions. As well, Invisible Woman was great for the cleansing. So, as always, do appreciate you guys checking out my videos and supporting the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.